I want to start with a quote. Uh, you, you write, quote, you, you say that you have, quote, grown skeptical of many popular theories of non-state organized violence, non-state organized violence. For example, again, quoting you, I question policies based on slogans such as radical Islam and other national or religious identities. Instead, I've come to appreciate science-based approaches to national security, particularly those based on social science and economics. So what's wrong with thinking about, say, terrorism as, as a religious issue? Uh, sometimes it's it's a, uh, a political issue. Uh, it's not motivated just by religion. It can be motivated by ideology, obviously. But that's the standard way people talk about it uh, in the press and in, in the halls of Congress. Why is that? What's wrong with that? Russ, thanks for leading with that question. I think that the lang language matters, and I think that our propensity to label groups of people by some identity marker is lazy and inaccurate. So I'm I'm gonna you know state that very strongly, um, and as a as an economist, you know we might say that uh, I might restate that to say we're confusing correlation with causation. So um, you know the the world you know 25 percent of the world is is Muslim, and there are not that many Islamic terrorists. So the fact that we attribute uh, Islam with terrorism. Um, is just plain inaccurate. I mean, it's an over, grossly oversimplification. Um, and we tend to do that because it, it allows us to make categorizations that are easy to understand and digestible, um, but not necessarily correct. And I think that's the main goal of this book is to really address this question is, do these identity labels help us to understand the phenomena that we care about in the world, such as terrorism, insurgency, and drug trafficking, um, or do they mislead us? And I'm arguing in this book that they're, they're mostly misleading um, and that there is a better way, and the better way is to think, about, um, to think about markets, to think about humans and institutions and markets and firms and prices and entrepreneurs. And if we pivot from that's a drug dealer, that's an insurgent, that's a Muslim, that's a Mexican. If we get rid of those terms and we say that's a firm, that's an entrepreneur, we can simplify the story, we can make sense of it, and I think it's more accurate.